everybody. Welcome back to this episode of Much Ado About Board Games. I'm Melanie. And I'm Monty. And today we're here to talk to you about the game Dimension. Dimension is a game put out by Cosmos, uh, created by Lauke Lukau, and it plays one to four players ages eight and up and plays in about 30 minutes. So let's do what we always do when we first start playing a game. Open up the box and see what's inside. Here we have our directions. We have four of these. Each person gets one of these. And if you'll notice, it's a piece of cardboard on the bottom. They have little foam discs attached to the bottom. So that one can be Melanie's. This one can be mine. These will go out of the game. And then we have all mixed up cards and wonderful, wonderful balls. And then we have score, scoring little cardboard tokens. Look at this, point tokens. So we've laid everything out and we're ready to start playing the game. On our cards, you'll notice that we have three of each of the five color spheres, and that's what we'll be using to build a pyramid-like shape as we go through the game. There are different tokens representing point values. There's one, five, 10, 20, 50. And these that look like they have a flag on them, those are bonus tokens. We each start out with 10 tokens and the person at the end of the game who has the most tokens is the winner. So the way the game is played, it's timed and it's also a dexterity game. So you have to be able to place things quickly and efficiently. So there are cards, this deck of cards, and each round, six of them will be placed between us and we have to try and build something that satisfies all six cards. So this card tells you about the seven different types of cards that you'll find in those task cards that we'll be looking at soon. If you have one like this, where they're near each other, this means that any orange spheres must be touching a green sphere and any green spheres must be touching an orange sphere. If they're not, if they're there without touching the other color, then you have not satisfied that card. You can, however, choose to only put one color down. So if you only use orange and no green, then you have satisfied that task. Conversely, if you have this card, you do not want to have any orange touching any green anywhere. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. Then you'll have some that have a number. That means that if you have this card, you would need to have two, exactly two orange spheres in your pyramid. If you happen to draw two cards, if you have one that has a two and one that has a one, you would add that together and you would need to have three orange spheres. If we flip it over to the back, here we get a little bit more complicated. So this one is showing you that an orange sphere must not be on top of any of the other spheres. So when you're building, it's a layer system. So this first group of seven down here, that's one layer. On top of that, you can have two to three spheres, and then on the very third level, you can have one. So for this one, the orange cannot be on the top, so you would wanna have orange in this bottom layer. And again, on the flip side, this one is that the orange must not be underneath any spheres. So this one, you would only wanna have orange on the top. If you're, only, if you're not going to that third level, you can have orange in that middle level, but your orange must not be underneath any spheres. This one has an orange and then a greater than sign and a black. So that means that there must be more orange than black, no matter what the number, more orange than black. And finally, if you have one where it's two different color spheres with a number in the middle, that means that the sum of the orange and the blue must be exactly four. So you might be thinking, wow, that sounds really complicated and I don't know how I would get it but you get it once you play a few rounds. So we're gonna go ahead and play our first round so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll show you how you'll score each round. The game consists of a total of six rounds. Okay, so we're ready to start our first round. The first thing we need to do is put out our task cards. So this first one, we need to have the white spheres touching green spheres, green spheres touching white spheres. 
Orange and blue cannot touch. Orange and black need to be next to each other. See, it's getting pretty complicated. We need to have exactly one green sphere. This one shows that we need to have more green than orange. However, since we have this card that says we can only have one green sphere, we're gonna take this one out because we wouldn't be able to satisfy this rule. And we're just gonna draw another one in its place. This one white cannot touch blue. And our last one is that green must touch black. So I think we have our work cut out for us. What do you think, Monty? I think we do. I'm gonna flip the timer and we're going to go as fast as we can to place our spheres and make our pyramid and satisfy all of these tasks. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Fun. I still have time. I already see something you did wrong. Oh, I see something I did wrong. Oh no. Time's up. I don't think I messed up. I don't think I messed up. Okay, so now we're gonna look at each of our cards and see how we did. So we will get one point, one point token for each sphere that we have on our board here. So I have placed a whopping eight. And I placed 11. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eight. I'm gonna take my 11 and add it to my other 10 over here. So as we're going through scoring, we've gotten our one point, and for each task that is not completed, we're gonna lose two points. So let's go through. Do you Are all of your green touching white? Yes, all my green are touching white. Okay, me too. Um, no blue touching orange. And I don't have that. I missed that one, so I lose two. I think I did very poorly. Black is touching orange. Yes, my black is touching orange. <laughs> one green. Oh, that's the one you missed. <laughs> all I did, I didn't even need to put that green one there. No, oh. you didn't. Um, no white. So I lose two. Right, no white touching blue. I did do that one. And green touching black. I did that. No, you didn't. That green's not touching black. Oh, it's not. Oh. So I lose another two. Ah. Oh. So we have two chances to get bonus points. If you used every single color. I did not. You get a bonus. So I used all five colors, so I will get a bonus. Monty will not get a bonus for that. And the second way you can get a bonus token is if you have all six of these cards and you've done everything you can and you check them all and you get them right. Did nope. we do that this time? Sure didn't. Nope. And that is the first round. So that's the end of the round. So you just reset by putting your spheres back where they go. And we go for six more cards. And that's how you play the game of Dimension. So we're gonna zoom through playing five more rounds and we'll see how it turns out at the end.
six you can see these are the remnants of our last structures that we built i think it's been a pretty close race and we're mm. going to <laughs> that was funny and we're going to add up our points how do the bonus ones work melanie i'm going to tell you in just a second oh how much do you have to begin with I don't know. I, I was talking instead of counting. Oh, no. We'll count up real quick. 20, 30, 40, 54. No way. 10, 20, 30, 40. No, you're right. It's not 54. <laughs> Stay in school, kids. 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. Because I have 54. So you must have been counting my chips. <laughs> so now let's deal with our bonus tokens. How many bonuses do you have? Uh, I have <laughs> four. So remember, we got the bonus tokens for using all of our colors and for getting our completing all six tasks. So the way that the bonus tokens work, it only goes up to six. So I don't know what happens when you get nine. Oh. The way that the bonus tokens work, hopefully you can see this. If you have zero, it's negative six. If you have one, it's negative three. If you have two, it's negative one. If you have three bonus tokens, it's zero. Four, you get one point. Five, you get three points. And six, you get six points. So Monty has four. So that gives him one point. So he has... What's your score now? 50. 50. And I have I have nine, so I definitely get six points. So that leaves me with 60 points. And then these extra three, do we just start over? You see. What do you think, Monty? It doesn't tell us. It doesn't tell us. But I think with just starting over, if you get three, that equals zero. So I'm fine with the score of 50. No, 60. <laughs> I have 50. Is that what I said before, 60? It is. Greetings, quick rules clarification. The designer of Dimension has posted on BGG that the proper way to get a bonus token is to have both satisfied six cards and used all five colors. So the only way you can get a bonus token is to do both of those things in a round. That is why it only goes up to six because there is a maximum of six you can get in an entire game. I'll turn you back over to Melanie and Monty. Hey, that's me. So as you know, because you're in school or you've already been through school, 60 is more than 50. Okay, we get it. So that means yeah. I win. Yay. So we hope you guys have enjoyed watching us play this game of Dimension. It's a lot of fun and it really makes you think. You have to figure out exactly where you want to put everything. And Great puzzle, great puzzle, great puzzle. Three great puzzles. Three great puzzles. Great puzzles cubed. So thank you for watching this episode of Much Ado About Board Games. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.